Ruthless hunters, natural born killers, constantly on the prowl for new prey. These are the predators. These killing machines are the rulers of the savannah. And yet, although they perform their violent acts every day, they take no pleasure in killing. Rather, it's to survive. For them, as for their prey, life is a daily challenge. In the African savanna, right at the top of the food chain, are many species of big predators, among them the crocodile. The only survivor of the dinosaur era, a crocodile can be virtually invisible to its prey. He will lie in wait, submerged, motionless, even for hours. Fearsome, discreet, wily, he is perfectly adapted to life in the water and has the sinister reputation as the most dangerous killer in Africa. Predators have an essential part to play in the functioning of their ecosystems. By congregating at places where their prey can cause pollution, they limit proliferation, sparing other species that are few in number. Predators as a group, in limiting populations, help to preserve species that might otherwise eliminate one another. In the end, nature is well managed because any given area always has just the number of predators it can handle and no more. Each predator has its own way of hunting. Their strength and speed seem to protect them from many dangers, but their never ending need for food, for survival, drives them constantly to keep hunting. Even when prey is abundant, chances of success are never sure. Often it depends on the strategy of the attack. Seized at the throat, this gnu has no chance. The lioness's jaws have broken its spine. But the lioness can't lift her prey out of the water because the creek became too muddy during the dry season. She has to devour the animal here where it was killed, a rare practice. Usually several lionesses hunt together, but there are occasions of solo hunting. And then the lioness can rely only on herself to defend her kill. The prey has barely been taken when other predators start pointing their snouts toward the meal. Yes, it is not enough to hunt down and kill your prey. You have to defend it, too. The fury of a lioness can be fatal for a hyena. The sudden appearance of a buffalo might improve the hyena's chances, but is the big animal a real danger for the lioness? The buffalo keeps approaching, trying to frighten the lioness away from her kill. The herbivorous avenger forces the lioness to flee up a tree. High up in the acacia tree, she keeps a needle-sharp watch on what is happening below. Finally, the buffalo lets the lioness come down and the hyena sees his chance evaporating. In fact, the hyena gives up. The lioness could return to the dead prey at any moment to finish her meal. No, the hyena would rather try elsewhere, where a family of cheetahs is hunting in the area. 
At one point, the contest threatens to become fierce unless the hyena is content to be a little patient. Why not let the fastest predator of the savanna do all the hard work? The female cheetah hunts alone because she can't count on her progeny. In this case, three teenagers. They're too young and too clumsy. Her hunting technique is simple. Just race to the prey as fast as possible and deliver a powerful swipe of the paw to throw the animal off balance. Once it's on the ground, the cheetah's powerful jaws sink teeth into the throat, and that's that. Once she sets off, there's no turning back. There is no room for error. Yes, this may be the fastest animal on Earth, reaching speeds of 100 kilometers per hour. That's 60 miles per hour. A gifted sprinter. But she soon runs out of breath and finds it hard to take the turns at high speed. She expends so much energy all at once that she needs a breathing space to recover. And these are precious minutes. Because the hyena is on the prowl, and he knows that this is the instant to try something if he's going to steal any of the meat. The young cheetahs waste no time in munching off the first bits. The cheetah senses danger. But what can she do? These kids are too clumsy to make any sort of organized resistance. Their mother tries to put up a half-hearted bluff, but she knows that she and her offspring can't do anything against the hyena's terrible jaws and teeth, especially now with the smell of blood in the air. She doesn't even try to fight. Her big meal is not for today. She's a spent force, and she knows it. <laughs> the scent of blood draws many scavengers. They're not considered true predators because they eat animals that have already been killed 